Rounding up a traumatized baby elephant is not an easy job. Kitu cha kwanza nimesema ndugu akikuja hapa anakujanga akiwa amelia kwa sababu ya kukosa mama anakuja hapa akiwa ana furaha na mtu yoyote kwa sababu anaona ya kwamba binadamu ndiye amesababisha mama yake kufa. Mishak is a highly skilled keeper. An elephant whisperer. Kitu cha kwanza anakuja hapa akikuangusha, anatuangusha lakini wanga tunafanya juu chini, tumpembeleze, tumpatie maji, tumpatie maziwa, tunafunga mblangeti aone kweli ya kwamba hawa si watu wabaya. Ni watu wazuri kwa sababu wananipembeleza. Baby Cities is only six months old. She's still too young to feed herself, and in the wild, she'd already be dead. But she's thrived since she was brought here to the Sheldrick Wildlife Trust at only seven weeks old. Actually, they believe she is a poaching victim because we have uh, in our frame down there lots of food for elephants, water everywhere. And uh, so we can't say that the mother died of hunger or maybe succumbed to the drought. Amdi used to be afraid of elephants. But after seven years working here, he now sees them as family. A family that sadly is growing fast. Madonna. Elephant rescues like this one last year are on the rise due to increased poaching and the ravages of drought. This baby elephant was found next to its dying mother. When a baby elephant is orphaned, the Sheldrick Wildlife Trust is brought in for what can be a dramatic rescue. Often the orphan is still with a herd. But a herd of bull elephants like this one can be more of a danger to the young animal than a help. After the hungry baby is fed milk and restrained, they're brought here to the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust. It exists thanks to a lifetime of work by David's widow, Dame Daphne Sheldrick. Well, elephants, of course, are amazing animals, and I've been lucky enough to be in the right place at the right time and to be able to be taught by the animals themselves just about how wonderful they are. Eventually I found that they lived a lot 
long gone skim milk with no fat. Uh, but they just wasted away, so I knew it was a fat problem. So then I went around hunting for a, a baby formula that has no cow's milk fat. And so that's the secret. They take the intolerant to the fat of cow's milk. And the nearest thing to the fat in elephant's milk is actually coconut. being present with the animals, touching them, making sure they know someone's around. It can actually be very traumatic for the animals if they feel like they've been left alone, if they get disconnected from the herd. You'll hear them bellow and run in your direction, hoping to find uh, the lost animals and lost keepers. As the elephants grow, the keepers teach them the skills that a mother would teach in the wild. How to have a mud bath to protect from the sun. And how to forage for food. We try to, to teach them at this age how to, uh, <clears throat> how to browse. So if they don't reach these higher leaves up there, you can see them trying to stand down there, stretching their trunks, and they can't reach up there. So a keeper, we come close and we help them to pull down for them or even break for them and bring for them down here. She's a very good uh, student. This close bond between keeper and orphan is possible in part because the elephants are highly sophisticated creatures. They have all sorts of attributes we don't have. They communicate with infrasound over distance. They can hear seismic sound through their feet. They have an amazing intuition that is unexplainable. And uh, they, are, they have all the emotions of the human as well. Another lesson that the elephants learn here is how to relate to other animals. Because the Sheldrick Trust fosters all kinds of orphans like this little creature called a tree hyrax that was rescued from a cat and brought to Daphne's daughter. The girl took the baby hyrax to Angela who decided to keep her until she grows and then 
and then we'll take her to or him to back to the wild and he'll also continue with his life. <laughs> okay. A slightly more threatening resident is Malin, the baby black rhino. Yes, he, he can be dangerous, but you see, all these animals who come under our care, mostly they know that we are their, like their older family members, so they can be dangerous.